Embryonic stem cell research. The facts about the science. With Sean Morrison, director of the University of Michigan Center for Stem Cell Biology. Are there treatments using adult stem cells that cure spinal cord injuries? In fact, there is no cure for spinal cord injury with adult stem cells. Opponents of, the, of embryonic stem cell research have circulated the myth that there are 60 or 70 diseases that can be cured using adult stem cells. But in fact, that number was never credible, and experts have roundly dismissed that number. The only kinds of diseases that are routinely treated with adult stem cells are diseases of the blood forming system. So bone marrow transplantation is used to save thousands of lives every year. But it took decades of research to make it possible to do bone marrow transplantation. So a story that illustrates that is that Donald Thomas, who is the uh, father of bone marrow transplantation, after years of research, attempted the first bone marrow transplants in 1955. But all six of his patients died. He went back to the laboratory to try to figure out why it was you couldn't transplant bone marrow successfully between unrelated patients. It took him 14 years of additional research to discover the answer to that question. And the first successful bone marrow transplant between unrelated patients was in 1969. So even after many years of research, it took 14 years to achieve success after the first attempt in a human patient. So opponents of embryonic stem cell research often argue that, well, we've had several years of embryonic stem cell research now, and yet there are still no cures. In fact, if you applied that criterion to medical research, none of the cures that we currently have with adult stem cells would exist right now, and Donald Thomas would never have received the Nobel Prize for that work. The fact is that for virtually all the medicines that we have, it takes many years of research to achieve them. And if we create policy in the state of Michigan based on the idea that scientists have to abandon any problem that they can't solve within a few years of research, then Michigan scientists will never be able to contribute to medical research. Can you use umbilical cord blood or amniotic cells instead of embryonic stem cells for research? You can't do the same things with um, umbilical cord blood or amniotic cells that you can do with embryonic stem cells. My laboratory specializes in adult stem cell research and people in my lab have won lots of awards for their work on adult stem cells. We study umbilical cord blood in my laboratory and I can tell you that umbilical cord blood cells cannot do the same things as embryonic stem cells. Adult stem cells are more specialized so umbilical cord blood cells are used to restore the blood forming system in children after they've been treated for uh, blood diseases, but they can't be used to restore other tissues like the brain or the skin or the liver. They can't be used to, to treat uh, Parkinson's disease, for example. So um, embryonic stem cells really offer possibilities that don't exist it, with these other cell types. And that's why research has to continue. Can patients donate or other people adopt leftover embryos? There's no conflict between embryo adoption and embryonic stem cell research because it's up to the parents to decide what to do with their, their embryos. It's up to parents to decide whether they want to implant all of their embryos or whether they want to put them, make them available to donate to other infertile couples or whether they want to just throw away the unused embryos that they can't use for fertility treatment. In fact, there are, in addition to the thousands of embryos that are routinely thrown away from fertility clinics, there's estimated to be another 400,000 embryos that are frozen down in fertility clinics across the country. And most of those embryos will eventually be thrown away. And in fact, there are very clear ethical guidelines that um, these tiny microscopic embryos that are used for embryonic stem cell research could not be allowed to develop in dishes or in any other context outside of a human body for more than 14 days. Aren't researchers trying to make big profits off embryonic stem cell research? Well, that kind of comment just illustrates their unfamiliarity with this work. The fact is that the University of Wisconsin holds broad patent rights over any applications that are derived from embryonic stem cells. And so in fact, if I discover something at the University of Michigan, um, 
there's good reason to believe that at present the University of Wisconsin would hold the rights to those discoveries. And so we don't discover, we don't study embryonic stem cells in an effort to try to make money. We don't really expect that that could happen. Instead, our goal really is just to try to develop new cures for patients. What about cloning? Cloning in the state of Michigan is illegal and no one is proposing to make it otherwise. And so this debate is not about cloning, it's about taking embryos that are currently being thrown away by fertility clinics and using